This is the image links template at SharePoint dashboards.com. The purpose of this template is to allow you to make a tiles style navigation similar to the quick links web part that's often used on landing pages in SharePoint. The difference, of course, in this case is we're selecting and using images as a background in our tiles. So this allows a distinctly different look than the quick links web part, which only allows icon images, uh, background colors, things like that. In order to use this template, you do need to set up your SharePoint list to have a set of fields for this purpose. You'll be using the regular default title field that will be the text of the link. You need to add an additional text field called link that will hold the hyperlink value, the actual URL that it's going to link to. You need a third field to have the image reference. That can either be a hyperlink field or alternatively, you can use a SharePoint image field. Now, for the image field, you do need to make sure that you make the appropriate selection for the image field type in order for the template to work correctly. In our demo, we're just going to be using the hyperlink column. And then one last field that you'll need, which isn't a part of the template, but you want it for sorting the order of your link. So you should make one more number column called index, and you can use it to hold a number value to sort those links. So here I am over in SharePoint, and I have my list set up for this purpose. Now I do have an additional template applied here, um, which is uh, one that works very well with this. And this is the stock image picker template um, which you can use to just tap into those images that are part of your Microsoft 365 environment. Um, so just for demonstration purposes, let me uh, pick another one of those just to show you how that works. Um, I'll switch it to that. And you can see that changes the value in this hyperlink column that I've set up. I also have this column formatted with another template. You don't have to do that. It just helps it look nicer. And then there's the index column I mentioned. You would change this value if you wanted to reorder the links as they're going to be displayed. So my columns are all set up. You're going to want to have two views. I'm using the all items view for managing the links list. And then I'm going to have a second view, uh, which I called image nav. That's going to be the actual display of these tile image links. So let's go ahead and apply the template. I'm going to go with the regular theme one. When you first get here, of course, you should check out the different theme options. So there's different ways you can make it appear. So you should try adjusting different settings until you get the look that you want. So I'm going to copy the template, follow the directions in the box. This is a view template. So I do need to go to the view selector, then format current view, advanced mode, and then paste in your code and save. And there it is. Now, one thing I saw right off, this is set to show only three tiles per row. I don't want that. I want it to be four tiles per row. So I'm going to just adjust a setting. There's a links per row setting. I can just enter four, copy the template, and uh, come back over to SharePoint and just reapply the code. And there we go. And notice there is a hover effect when I hover over this. See how the text color changes. And I can click anywhere in the tile to go to that link. Um, so um, that's very handy. I don't, for example, just have to click on just the text. So there's lots of configuration options available here, um, and I can get a lot of different looks. These don't have to be square. You can make the width wider if you want to, and then you can adjust the margins and all things like that. So you can really do all kinds of different looks with this uh, template in terms of the configuration. 
Um, so as you can tell, I can do things like turn off the background color on the link label. Um, I can decide whether or not I want a border around the edge. I can turn the shadow effect on and off. Um, and then um, I can do things like adjust the border, the corners on the edge, you know, if I want a different look with that. Um, so lots and lots of different um, options for you and able to, to configure this. And then I can control where the link appears. I can have it um, up at the top, the middle, or the bottom if I want to. So a very cool template. I hope you have the chance to check this out. This is available at SharePoint-Boards.com. This is the View Image Links template. If you don't already use SharePoint-Boards.com, you can go to the site to get a free sign up for uh, 20 free templates. And then uh, if you find those useful and you wanna go on, then you can subscribe to have access to um, a total of more than 120 uh, templates for doing all kinds of different formatting in SharePoint. Hope you like that. Good luck.